asset class is real estate? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm bearish. You're bearish. I think 24. On. No, no. I think it will take 24 to 36 months for real estate prices to really revive and go up in the metropolitan. So, given the fact that you're bullish on, and, and you know, a quick question uh, since we are discussing crude, the investment in SpiceJet and also the investment in MCX, but SpiceJet first. SpiceJet first. I don't know spice what jet is first. Are you, what are spice, you, I want to ask you what percentage of my portfolio is SpiceJet well, and what percentage of market cap is SpiceJet? No, no, but you know, people, people think if Rakesh Junjunwala is voting on SpiceJet, you've given the company a vote of confidence in a sense. So, are you bullish on aviation? Are you I bullish on SpiceJet? What are you betting you on? You forget one thing. Generally, I play test matches. Sometimes I play T20 cricket. Also. So, this is T20 cricket. <laughs> I don't know. I won't say that. Yeah. MCX? But I'm not reversed here. I wanted to buy Jet. Jet was in freeze that day, so I bought a SpiceJet. <laughs> and I was in Maldives there. I placed the auto from there. So, so you're, you're continuing to be the Warren Buffett of India. You're not turning into Wilbur Ross and going no, out I want to be. Standards. I want to be the Rocky Junjunwala of India. <laughs> I don't want to be a, a clone of anybody. I really don't like it. And first of all, I'm not, I don't have 20% of the intellect and not even 5% of the will that he has. Okay. Although I have time on my side. <laughs> right? So I feel that, I mean, mom, ma'am, he has got capital. I have no capital. Father doesn't give, father-in-law gives, I'll not take. So how do I get the money to trade, to invest? I have to trade and earn, no? That you do have to. So let me ask you this. Given the fact that you're confident and bullish about just about everything that India is doing at this point in time, the sectors that you're most bullish about, the, you know, would it be infrastructure? Would it be the consumption story? What is it that you, you're most bullish about? See, it's a buffet. There are a lot of dishes. Eat what you want. Don't overeat. I don't what are you what eating today? I know, I know you're being very careful with your diet. I know you're being very careful with your diet, Rakesh. So what is on your plate today? On my plate today? Nothing on my plate. Dal, one vegetable, jawar roti and curd. And spice, <laughs> and spice bread. And MC eggs. <laughs> I mean, what? This spice and I will pledge in life. <laughs> I never have a wise five The 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 management's not going to be happy to hear that. But really, taking that that conversation forward, autos, financials, infrastructure. Given the fact that this government is putting its might behind the infrastructure story, specifically within that category and within that niche, what is it that you'd be watching out for? I, I think everything will go up. Yes. I don't see there are certain Indian companies where performance is going to take time. See, ma'am, you cannot, you know, I go to a sector, there could be three companies in that sector which I would buy, and there are three whom I would short. So there has to be a company-specific matter. And one thing I can tell you, unless you have patience, valuations are not, are not easy. I mean, I won't do, you told me one year ago, I told Ina, Ina, Mona, Mai, Jo Hai Lelo. Where are valuations to your mind looking stretched today? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know about specific... See, everybody thinks that other fellow's stock is overvalued, but my stock valuation is okay. That is human nature, right? So I don't, I mean, but I would still think there are a lot of investing opportunities. If I had the money, I never have a bank balance left. If I have the money, I can do the shopping in one hour. It doesn't take much time. What is it that you're going to be betting on as far as the next 15 years are concerned, besides the India story? Well, I'll be betting on stocks. Yeah, exactly. I, I'll be trying to get you to give us some specifics of what exactly within the stock portfolio you're going to be betting I, on. I myself don't know what. See, I won't tell you what I bought, except Spicejet, you know, and MCX, you know, right? And what I'll buy to, tomorrow, even I don't know. Okay. So, you've talked about government reforms and how you're very confident that this government is going to be able to deliver on that. From a 15-year period, if we were to talk about, you said insurance, whether it happens this session, next session, it doesn't really matter. It's inconsequential in that sense. Land, we know for a fact that the government was trying to move the amendments in this session. It looks unlikely that they're going to be able to push it through. From a 15-year horizon, in terms of reforms, because everybody talks about this big bandied thing about, you know, let the reforms agenda get back on track. What is it that you would like to see? Well, first I would like to see faster, more transparent and easier decision making. Right, right? Let us know the rules. Let the rules be common for everybody. And let there be faster disposal of government decisions. Right. Second thing, I think GST is extremely important. Yeah. Then see, everything will open up with time. Right? I think this defense purchases, I was just thinking, 
I mean, the kind of Philip is going to give to local manufacturing is unbelievable. And these foreigners will be surprised. You know, Indian pharma industry was born really because Glaxo by law had to manufacture an API yeah. in India. Yeah. That one API plant came and we have 500 API plants in the world. In India today, among the best in the world. So once all these foreigners come with that technology and they make the arms, after 10 years they won't know what it is. Then. Right? So I think this defense thing is extremely important because you're going to procure so much amount of goods. I think change in the railway is plainly left. Ma'am, there are thousand things. And they are all dots. And each dot is going to contribute. Mm. And suppose one dot is delayed or is so, not... So what is the biggest downside risk then that you would factor in today? Would it be... I think government? one very important downside is that Mr. Modi should lead this country for the next 10 years. I think he is the ideal person, not that there cannot be anybody. But I think him not leading this country will be a setback. And second thing I am most afraid of is Pakistan nuclear war. Because it's a broken state. And I don't want, I don't trust us broken state with a nuclear war. Mm. I think that's one big risk in the sky. What about the global economy and global factors and global triggers? See, everybody talks, in friend, the Mr. short term, everybody talks about when the uh, Fed starts to normalize rates and so on and so forth, the impact as far as emerging market fund flows are concerned. But as far as global triggers in the medium and the long term, what is it that you're going to be looking at? there are two, three aspects. One reason, our good friend Mr. Ruchi Sharma has written that the only reason India boomed between 2003 and 2008 was because the world boomed and a lot of foreign capital came to India. Now the world is slowing. America is doing far lesser than what it is in that period. Japan is slowed. Europe is slowing. Other emerging markets are in crisis. But India is expected to grow. The world is expecting yeah. it. Right? And do tell me one thing that Japan had the best time between 1965 and 1990. Between 1965 and 80, US was in a severe recession. Right? So that doesn't mean that it's necessary for India to grow if the world grows. What is important to India, according to me, is software exports. Mm. But there India is grabbing market share. See, today if software spending is growing by 3%, 4%, Indian software revenue is growing by 15%. So I see no reason why India cannot outgrow the world. Right? And all this dollar, you make the interest rate from 0.25% to 0.1% and 1%, 1.5%, what difference it makes? Second thing, even after all these inflows, and you know, the gentleman from Citibank, Mr. Kumar will confirm, if you look at per share of percentage of Indian GDP to world GDP, correct me if I am wrong, and share of institutional investment in India as compared to world institutional, India is still under investment. You may have seen the money. Yeah. I mean, if India is 2%, and you know the total money put in by institution is 35 billion, then there should be 700 billion here. So I see no reason why money will not come here. See, the girl is pity the suitor will come. <laughs> I have no doubt. Let us concentrate on how India can grow, what is the quality of growth. Then the investor will come. That's what I feel. Uh, you evaded giving us a target for 2015. Uh, I am going to request you uh, to try and at least give us one short term headline. You've given us many long term headlines. I can give a target for 15 years. Okay, give us a target for 15 years. For the Nifty, yeah? yeah. Or the Sensex. Both, if you like. I give the target, then I'll tell you the index. See, I will be disappointed if in 2030 it's, it's less than 1 lakh 25. The Sensex. The Nifty, madam. <laughs> so that's I will how much. And I'll give you a basic reasoning. If the earnings grow at 18%, in 15 years, the, uh, the earnings will go 15 times. If there is no expansion in P, the Nifty should be one like 25. And I think there will be an expansion in P if this kind of earnings growth takes place. It's mathematics, ma'am. Only the rate of growth is an important matter. Rate of earnings growth. So I think I will be disappointed in 2030, the Nifty is below one like 25. That's a big target, Rasmus Chunjanwala. And uh, would, would you want to... Has it a guess for the Sensex as well? Have you done that math as well? The Sensex is test cricket here. We don't follow it. <laughs> you don't follow it. Jackie Sundarwala, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much right. for joining us. Thank you. And thank you very much indeed. <laughs>